Love is a universal concept that unites people. Bart Panda Blog puts it more aptly. Love is pure. Love is painful. Love is sweet. And love is dreadful. True love is overwhelming. Our lives depend on it. And it often seems like our planet would stop spinning if love didn't exist. Endless love is something we strive for and something we mourn the loss of. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 17 interesting facts about love. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our blog for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. It only takes about 4 minutes to decide if you like someone or not. According to BBC, it takes between 90 seconds and 4 minutes to decide if we fancy someone. Love gradually takes root from there. If you don't fancy a person, you're highly not likely to want any further dealings with them after the first meeting. 2. Monogamous relationships exist in the animal kingdom. According to the National Science Foundation, scientists currently estimate that only about 3-5% to of the mammal species in Earth practice monogamy. Whether for the short term or the long term, very few birds, fish or amphibians practice monogamy. Believe it or not, some insects are monogamous. Humans and some animals practice monogamous nature. Some humans do not practice monogamy, but a majority of them do. Love appears better expressed between two people than three or more. 3. Falling in love has neurological effects similar to the effects of cocaine. Love can be addictive. According to Medical Need Today, falling in love affects intellectual areas of the brain and triggers the same sensation of euphoria experienced by people when they take cocaine. Have you ever been in love? What did it feel like? Some people describe it as electricity. In my opinion, love is not good for young people pursuing their careers. It tends to disrupt your activities. 4. Heartbreak is real. Have you experienced love at a young age? You may have experienced heartbreak too. It is not always easy to maintain love. As much as two people love each other, they may have irreconcilable differences that make it impossible to remain together. In such a case, breaking up will become the only option. It is never a pleasant one. 5. Couples who are too similar to each other are not likely to last. If you date someone like you, the likelihood you guys win last is high. The two of you will think in the same way, and this will lead to confrontation whose ideas are superior. Ideally, couples should have some things in common but remain fundamentally different. If the two of you are different, there won't be clashes. Think twice before you date anyone. Your peace is too precious to be sacrificed for short-term love. 6. Looking at the picture of a loved one can relieve pain. Have you ever been in the hospital before? If there was no one to stay with you, even if it's just a picture of your parents and siblings on your bedside, you will find comfort in the beautiful memories you have with each other. Even holding a loved one's hand while they are sick can relieve the pains they are going through. According to the New York Times, a research from Stanford studying the link between love and pain showed that people who have issues representing their loved ones while on the pain experience a significant increase in the pain. Cherish your loved ones. They are all you truly have. 7. Cuddling releases natural painkillers. While cuddling, a hormone called oxytocin is produced. According to Life Science blog, a dose of oxytocin decreases headaches significantly, and for some, it even makes the pain go away completely after 4 hours. Cuddling can actually be a stress-relieving activity as well. It is very personal, and doing it with someone you are not romantically involved with can be frowned at. There are other ways oxytocin is released, besides cuddling. One of the most popular ways is by hugging. A warm embrace can be very comforting. 8. People in love have chemical similarities with people with OCD. According to Board Panda, people at an early age of love have lower levels of serotonin, which is associated with feelings of happiness and well-being, and higher levels of cortisol associated with stress. This is strikingly similar to those who have obsessive-compulsive disorder. This may explain why people act fancy when they're in love. Do you recall doing something funny? I remember writing poems and singing at midnight for the person I was in love with. Did you do anything crazy? Let us know in the comment below. No judgment, guys. 9. An attractive face is preferable to an attractive body for long-term relationships. While a lot of men go for attractive bodies in a long-term relationship, it is better if she has a very comforting and happy face than a beautiful body. Age happens over time. Her body will not look the same as she ages. Yours too will not. Her face and her smile, however, may endure through time. The face of someone or their body is very secondary considerations. However, in the larger scheme of things, the person's personality and outlook will play a bigger role. Have you ever been in love with anyone? 
Can you remember why? Are you still in love with that person? Let us know in the comments below. 10. Being with loved ones can make one happy. If you think you are currently happy, wait until you are with your loved ones. There is a certain type of joy that it brings that cannot be replicated. Spend as much time as you can with your loved ones. You may not end up living in the same city with them as you advance in your career. You may move to New York or Boston. Whichever it is, stay in touch and try to come home for Christmas. Work is fun, but being with your family and loved ones is better. 11. Dilated pupils show that someone is attracted to you. If you meet someone and they make eye contact and their pupils are dilated, it means they are interested in you. This is actually not always easy to detect if you meet the person in the evening, but during the day, it is more apparent. If you look into their eyes, they may also look away out of nervousness. If you like someone, talk to them though. Don't stare. It's actually a bit rude to stare. Have you ever met someone you liked? What was it like? Did you talk to them first or did they talk to you first? Are you guys still together? 12. Looking into each other's eyes can make strangers fall in love. A study conducted in 1989 shows that simple eye contact could make a person fall in love with you. Have you ever fallen in love with anyone at first sight? Frankly, I don't think it's true. But then, what do I know? I am not a scientist. Perhaps love is beyond science. Maybe it's all in our head. Or perhaps some biochemical process can explain it. But making eye contact with someone does actually make the person interested in you. Whether or not they will fall in love with you is another thing entirely. 13. Love goes hand in hand with stress. People at an early age of love have lower levels of serotonin, which is associated with feelings of happiness and well-being, and higher levels of cortisol associated with stress. Have you ever felt frustrated while in love because you felt misunderstood? Loving makes one vulnerable. It makes you susceptible to hurt if you were previously immune from it. Love makes you emotional, and when you are emotional, you do things based on emotion and not logic. When you are logical, you are more calculated and weigh the odds before making decisions. Love doesn't always let people do that. This may explain why couples fight a lot. 14. Love makes life appear more bright and interesting. When people are in love, fruit tastes better, colors appear brighter, and they feel at peace. According to Thought Catalog, researchers looked at a group of people and found that those who were thinking about love said a specific kind of food was sweeter than those thinking about jealousy or something neutral. Love does have its advantages. When you are this way, you don't let things bother you and you genuinely believe that you will figure it out. This is further strengthened if you have a strong partner. 15. Some people can't feel love. There are actually some people who can feel love, no matter how hard they tried. It may be a disorder. They appear without emotion too. Are you one of such people? Have you ever felt love before? What did it feel like? Tell us in the comment section below. 16. Love is a journey. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. If you love someone, tell them. Don't wait until it's too late. So many people have lost the people they loved because they didn't tell them on time. The chances are they love you also but don't know whether you feel the same way about them. 17. Love will literally make you grow. According to the Thought Catalog, the act of falling in love is known to have a calming effect on a person's body and mind. This, in turn, will raise levels of nerve growth for about a year. The process of falling in love and loving someone can help you become more tolerant and patient in dealing with people. People who have been in love before are more mature and open-minded than people who have not because of experience. Being in love can help you grow mentally and become a far better version of yourself.